So, my name is Edekira. No, this is for the camera. Should I try to point to the camera? Okay. That's the thing, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. My name is Edekira. I'm the producer of a film called Black Can Swim and Black Can Swim the sequel and co-founder of the Black Swimming Association. And here today, Conversations with Edekira, we have... My name is Susanna Fataki. I'm not a producer. I'm not a writer. <laughs> I'm just a normal person that deals with Afro hair. And because of that, I'm writing a book, My Afro Hair and I. It's a really interesting journey. Oh, perfect. Okay. So, <laughs> so you know, sometimes when you, um, when you make a decision to do something, then as soon as you make that decision and you voice it out, you regret it instantly. I have that feeling today. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. you're right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I don't know who's going to come out alive in this, in this, you know, in this from the studio, but we shall give it a go anyway. Yeah, Susanna okay. will come alive. All right. So where do we start? So let's start, like you know, talking about this Afro hair mm -hmm. for one reason, like, um, you know, Afro hair, like gives a lot of issues in okay. terms of if you're a woman because you want straight hair or in this case and you can explain better about the swimming like because there's no cup and yeah. you know so it's, it's difficult um, and it's very difficult with uh, like you know somebody like me that uh, has gone <laughs> yeah I, you know I'm Congo Italy right and I've been living in Italy all my life mm -hmm. and, you know, grow up and uh, in a country, well, starting from your mom, yeah. everybody goes straight and beautiful curly hair mm -hmm. is a pain. Okay. I have to say it's a pain and it's a long process to accept your offer hair. Okay. Uh, also, because also, you know, now media and stuff, they all present you with, you know, also black girl. Can I say black girl or... <laughs> yeah, so I will be sued. You're, you're a black girl. And that's the thing, you know, when I talk about, you know, also Afro and stuff, people say to me, oh, you don't understand things also because you're not black, you are different black, which I don't understand what well, they mean. You're, you're a mixed race. So, you're, so basically, what you're trying to say is that yes, because you're a mixed race, you, should, you don't understand the troubles or the problems that the black girl will go through. Is that what they mean? Okay. I'm not just asking you. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm saying yeah it's okay I understand but you need to remember that I grew up in a country Italy and uh, in, in a small place in South Italy mm -hmm. called Caserta right which they see you as a proper black so when people say you don't understand it's not because I don't do a community or a me too oh, that I, I, the <laughs> that, uh, no, no, no. I have to say, I want to explain myself today. Uh, okay, yes, yeah, but no, you, no, well, I'm trying, you haven't answered my question because I asked you, is, is it because you're mixed race that people say that you're not, you don't understand or... What I'm telling you... Why could you say yes or no? Can't you answer the question? Oh, okay. Okay, what do you want me to say? Yes or no? Well, which which answer would you like? Let's go. I, I, I'm telling you, I just want to say that as you said, you know, uh, black girls, yes. they they say like this because I don't understand yes. what they went through, right? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Well, okay. What I want to say is that where I, I come from, I'm treated like a black girl, like a proper yes. black girl. Yeah. So yeah. you can't tell me that I don't know. Maybe I know. Yeah, but, you're, yeah, but you're, you're a proper black girl. You might be mixed race, but in society, anyone that is not, you know, as long as you have a, a, a bit of black in you, you're considered as a black person. And we all know that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, good. I'm just, just saying that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> At least we agree on something. Well. <laughs> for now. <laughs> yeah, for now. <laughs> yeah, that's so, that's so, the... so. So are you saying that you have this issue with people not saying that you are popular? People say that you're not but in England. I do, that, that, that's, in England. Yeah, that, that's the first time, you know, that somebody told me when, you know, that has been my first experience. Uh, I was at my workplace and we were discussing with a, a, a black, a proper black lady. <laughs> 
because of course like i know that there is discrimination mm -hmm. and uh, racism this is in every forms and shape yeah. not just because you're black mm -hmm. but um this friend colleague she used to say oh they tell me so because i'm black Oh, mm -hmm. da, 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 da. so I said to her, no, that's not true, do you know? And and the first time I heard this, like, oh, you don't understand because you are a different black, was like three, year, four years ago or so. So was this person a black person? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. And so she thought, like, you know, and I was like, yeah, and that's the first time, and you know, because thankfully I have this personality, I don't do drama for everything. <laughs> She doesn't do drama. No. <laughs> I started <You're>, laughing. Yeah. <laughs> and she was of even more she upset do yeah. because she was like, you're not taking me serious. I was like, no, but nobody, you know, the first time you different black, what, what does it mean? Okay. So, okay. So I think we've established that you are a proper black. Yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so, so Susanna, um, tell us, tell us about your hair journey because your hair, your, your hair is what you call it, natural at the moment, but it, yeah. it, it, it always wasn't. No, you can natural, see the bush. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, so as I said before, I have born, you know, I was born in Italy, mm -hmm. so, you know, my own mom, she has really black straight hair, and you go to school and all your friends have straight or really beautiful curly hair, so you think that this is the way that the hair, you know, yeah, yeah. should be, and and that was terrible. I mean, like, I'm telling you this with such a pain mm -hmm. because I really went through emotional pain because uh, for years I wanted to be what I was not. Mm -hmm. Like, so you stretch your hair and then you put, you know, hair, hair extensions, all those sort of things. But you suffer. That, that's it you suffer yeah. because you know you you're not that person literally you are under a wig we can say right but that's not you yeah. and and, in, and that's teenager 12 13 where all your friends yeah, yeah. and you know you know that if you don't have fake hair your yeah. head don't move yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and that has been so hard and i've been with extension hair like fake version of me i have to say until five years ago so i'm 39 now so i'm telling you you can count how many years i've been a fake yeah, yeah. a fake one uh and then i decide you know what i need to stop this but also because when i came in this country i met this italian guy very lovely guy uh his name is luca and he used to you know so they like but i want to understand all these black girls who they are under this wig system. <laughs> and at that time, yeah. thankfully, I was only straight hand in my hair, uh -huh. so... And they were like, because I don't understand. I don't understand. They can't have this hair. It's impossible for them to have this hair. So, and then actually gave me a push, mm -hmm. like to be, Susanna, you need to be what you are. And then I had, of course, because all this treatment and stuff, the damage you have very much, so I had to cut them off and, they eat off and oh my god <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a journey eh? what a terrible moment i can cry yeah. <laughs> i can cry because for years i've been like fake straight fake curl, beautiful curly hair and then all of a sudden i look in my mirror and i see this half of short hair i don't know it was like i was i, I think for couple of weeks i didn't go out because i was shocked that, but that was the real me but that, yeah that's a bit that's a bit dramatic isn't it it is but it is she doesn't do drama no <laughs> i do the real drama <laughs> no but it is it is and it's painful as well yeah. and then you know i start to educate myself mm -hmm. uh how to treat afro hair yeah. and you know all this sort of stuff and then all of a sudden i just it's a really hard process. You need to accept that you are a bush, you are a tree. You, you, you <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, but, <laughs> and then really, it's all about loving yourself, I think, the way you are, and, and you can get on with that for it as well. And since then, like, you know, I'm not worried if it's raining, because anyway, it's like umbrella, they take all the water. <laughs> so I 
myself but yeah it's a, it's a long process and and that's what i want to do with like my book tell you know mm. black girls the real one just be yourself because you know, as, as you know i've got a daughter who's 10 years growing on 11 um she's my wife's indian yeah so basically my daughter she, her hair is nothing she doesn't she didn't take any part of her hair from my wife um so she's got full afro hair I and feel her. yeah <laughs> so yeah and um i get the blame every time every day is hair day and my wife is doing the hair because my wife's my wife she's from an indian background so she she is not used to the afro hair mm. and but she has to deal with it and all that kind of thing i get the blame you know okay. and yeah and i always walk away quietly when, when it's hair day i just you know no, Don't but also anyone. it's um, it's like it's hard when your mom doesn't have a half for hair. Yeah. Like it's terrible yeah. because they don't know how to manage it. So, yeah, obviously you're, so, you're going through yeah, that. So yeah, uh, it's terrible because they don't know. Mm. So uh, you can see the difference when you know a black girl as a you know African mom mm -hmm. compared to somebody like me that has a white mom because bless them they don't know. Mm. Mm. They, and they can try their best, but they really they can't. You know? So, what was the journey like for your sisters? Because you've got how many sisters? Five. And you are number... Six. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 by the time your mum got to you, she obviously must have had so much experience with your, your, with your older sisters. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no? No, no, no. Not at all. Not at all. I think also she never had the patience of you know look after this kind of uh, mm. she couldn't I don't, too many <laughs> no 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 actually only two of us decided to have our natural hair but all the others are fake version of european hair i would say and they laugh on us really like, oh my god how big oh my god how <laughs> <laughs> so so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna go straight into how we how we first met, you know, first you know, on, on social media, yeah. we started talking. He has been very lucky, though. Um, <laughs> it's um, I, 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 would, I would not use luck to describe describe it, but anyway, um, my life has never been the same since. Um, <laughs> um, what got us talking was swimming, or should I say, the lack of swimming, and. You told me that you can't swim. I can't. So, can you tell the audience? Yeah. Because <laughs> obviously I know the reason why you can't swim. I can't swim because of my mom. And uh, actually, it was very bizarre when I met you because you know all the reason why you know black can't swim. Mm -hmm. My family experience is all the way around, like. Yeah, yeah. My late father was a fish in the water, and mm. my mom, no, and affect us as daughter. Like, don't go to the water, don't do this, don't do that, and and just, uh, I'm scared. I cannot even think of of learning. So, but you, I take it you understand the importance of learning how to swim yeah. and why you should learn how to swim, because. Okay, for instance, you're walking down the street, walking down the road, you mean by the river, and I fall in, and you, you no, probably that's the wrong example, because <laughs> I know what the answer yeah, on that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let, let him drown. Yeah. <laughs> you, you probably will be the one who I, actually pushed me in. Stay, stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was pushing you. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, so is there anything that will let you, or, or shall I say, entice you to learn how to swim? Look, not even my dream job has done so because one of my dream jobs was like I want to be, uh, you know, working for British Airways or Alitalia or stuff. And uh, because I don't know how to swim, and they suggested me, like, you know, you can learn. Well, as an air hostess, yeah, like that. yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll um, good because that, that was the last time I was, I was going to the British Airways flight, but anyway, let's go. Uh, <laughs> but I, I can't do that, like, yeah. I need to get not even a dream job can push me to do so. No, I think, I think I'll change your mind. Give, yeah, give me, give me a couple of months, you'll be, you'll be, you'll no, learn I'm, how to swim. I'm, I'm just I, only the thoughts, I think, because it's the fears that my mom 
gives yeah. us. But fears, fears can be overcome. Look, I'm, I'm only now learning. I'm only now learning how to swim. I know, and you know, I know they overcome. I'm, I'm here you. with you. You know what I mean? <laughs> fears overcome, indeed. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 No, but uh, what I'm saying is, um, I don't know. I, you know, you never say never. Yeah. You might change my mind. You, you, you know. But I don't know. I'm mm. just scared only of thinking of it. And when I go, I like you know the sea and things. Mm. But I always see stay, it. Stay yeah, away. yeah, yeah. Say because. So your your five sisters. Yeah. Do any of them swim? Only, only two. Two of them swim. Yeah. So how did they overcome that barrier? Uh, because they were like maybe I think more my father mindset like mm. you know I'm not scared I go and I do and they yeah. wouldn't listen to my mom anyway yeah. so the the older four were more mummy attached yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, and and you don't drive either do you oh no no <laughs> <laughs> no this is another uh, fears of my mom my mom's biggest fear is drive as well and mm -hmm. also when i'm with other people in the car i'm very like oh god god <laughs> i'm not not big fan of cars yeah yeah i don't even know difference between cars for me any car is a car <laughs> i don't care uh, yeah yeah can mm -hmm. i say so, that <laughs> yeah so 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 it's it's it's, so it's it's true that basically the fears of your parents you know, you, you pick up the fears, you inherit, you, you inherit yeah. the fears of your parents. Because yeah. my parents, my parents didn't swim. Mm. And, and I'm pretty sure my grandparents didn't swim. Either. I didn't even know whether they swam or not. And that shows how um, absent swimming was in when I was growing up. It was never even a conversation. So, yeah, so I didn't even know whether my grandparents swam or not. But I knew that my parents didn't swim. So, yeah, it's, I, I think the statistics says that if your parents don't swim, you have... 30, you only have thirteen percent chance of learning how to swim if your parents don't. Mm. So yeah, it's it's yeah. No, but it's important anyway for yeah. safety and stuff. Yeah. Um, and another another thing that comes up in conversation oh when uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> when, we're, when we're talking about swimming, especially with with women, with females, is the body. Yeah, a lot of, yeah. A, lot of, a lot of women say I don't feel comfortable swimming because of my body. Mm -hmm. and so, um, obviously, you, you don't you obviously you don't swim, so that would not be an issue. No, let's to you. say that I don't care. Like yeah, even yeah. though I don't swim, I go to the beach. I don't care. But yeah, but you know, I I strongly believe is uh, this imaging that come that comes from social medias and stuff that you need to be at all time perfect, and mm. this especially for women. Yeah, like yeah. if you you are not uh, that way. You, you're not beautiful mm -hmm. if you're not fit you're not beautiful yeah. uh, you know and and uh, I'm like come on um as I told you like nice no, I told you no I haven't told you maybe you read on Instagram I was having my breakfast and literally there was this photographer with this this black girl that mm -hmm. she was laughing on her friend and she called her friend um, white girl which is and she was like, she's fat, she's fat. But you know, she 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 does. She takes pictures mm -hmm. and then you know yeah. she uh, photoshops and stuff to look like at least average. And I was thinking like, you know, that girl, her friend, the the white girl, if she was born in the fifties yeah. or sixties, she was admired for her curves yeah. and not. Mm -hmm. So I think th this happened when you go to the sea. Like because oh my god, I I don't have the perfect body, to because that's what they show you how you need to be and and people believe that this is crazy. But curves, I, th I thought now um, curves is is more of an in thing. Like more girls or females with curves is 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 is, is, is shall I say I won't say good, but yeah, that's more fashionable now, isn't it? Which kind of world are you living in? No, no, because of no, no. At fair, first, I can I know that in the olden days, you know straight down straight up straight down the six o'clock figure is was what you know most girls or most guys were looking for in, in a woman especially in, from, in, from from the west in the western world but since the likes of beyonce's and such and they've all got curves more and look at the kardashian sisters they all got curves 
I mean, naturally or unnaturally, but they all have curves. So I thought more people, more girls will be no. moving towards... No. no. No? Definitely not. Okay. Let, look, you can... I know you can go on social media. Say, also, Beyonce, all these people you say, they show this bee and then this backside yeah, behind yeah, yeah. and mm. then you go again like this. Mm. This is not like so. So you're talking about curves in, in you know natural curves. Not, I mean, yeah. A bit of a belly, a bit yeah. of this, a bit of that. Yeah. I okay. have it, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care. Wait. I got to see. <laughs> Please don't show me all these. Susanna, behave. So you don't you don't have any issues when it comes to. Um, I used yeah. to have. But oh, when, so you used to? Yeah, oh, okay. but when, when I was very young, like in my 20s, mm. right? And um, also, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. It's, I think it's so matter of culture where you grow up. And mm. in Italy, the way you look is so, so important. Mm -hmm. And there was a stage that I was like, oh, because if you are skinny, why are you skinny? If you're fat, why are you fat? If you are average, why you are average? Mm. You don't know how you need to look like. Mm. You like, and this gives you a lot of problem. Mm. And there was a time that I went so underweight that people thought I was sick. But um, I, I was so, you know, like I would, I would pay attention to everything I was eating. And then I start not eating in the evening because it was faster the process yeah, to. Yeah. And then I went down the way, <laughs> and that was not good. <laughs> so, so that was based on social media. It was cause of social media. You wanted to look at certain. Well, no, more at my uh, age, uh, twenty years old. Well, twenty years old. Oh, twenty years old. So yeah, it, so it wasn't social media. Well, it was not it about social media. Yeah. It was about uh, you know thoughts? the environment. Yeah, that, that, and um, yeah. yeah, and uh, you know they make you feel like that. Like, mm. um, honestly, in in my own family. Um, there is one of my sisters that she pays attention too much and and every time she comes to see me or I go there, she even does ask you how are you. Mm -hmm. The first thing she's noticing if you you lost weight or you, you put on weight mind. or how do you and we had the massive crush because I say, I'm not coming to see you, right? If every time the only worry <laughs> is like how I look. So like, every time I go see my mom, right? <laughs> As soon as I walk through the door, I'm looking. Oh, look at your belly! You put on weight. My mom's black, right? <laughs> she goes, "Oh, you put on weight," and then and and I just ignore her because I've learned to ignore her. Not even a second later, she goes, "Oh, I've prepared this food for you. I've got this. I've got some jollof rice. I've got this. I've got soup. I've got this. I've got plantains. I've got this." And I'm like, "Hold on! You just a few minutes ago you told me that I put on weight. What you? you? She goes, "I don't worry about that. Yeah, eat, 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 eat." So maybe that's you and your sisters. Uh, yeah, but my sister won't do that. I will say, okay. don't eat. Oh, okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> and, and you know, it's, it's um, yeah, and that was painful as well, like mm. my hair, because look, when people make you feel like uncomfortable with yourself, especially in a young age, it's, it's very difficult. Like, you know, you believe that. Mm. Mm. Now, I think I'm average person. I'm not skinny. I'm not fat. I'm normal person. But if my sister or somebody else would come, I know how to answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and back to not to say. <laughs> let's oh. let's leave this there. Okay. Um, when did you first hear about the issue with a disproportionate amount of black people not swimming? Well. Did I tell a joke or something? Did, 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 did I miss something? <laughs> oh, okay, no, nothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna cut, right? <laughs> it's no, we can cut in nothing. <laughs> 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 Susanna. Sorry. Behave. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just when you're ready, just let me know. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> Just give me a nudge when you're ready. Yeah? I'm gonna have a kick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so when when did you first? <laughs> What's so funny about that question? I'm just asking, when was the first time you heard about a disproportionate amount of black people that didn't swim? Um, I it's your question. It's just... Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, go on. Okay. Let's do it again. Take three. <laughs> So when was the first time you heard about the issue with a disproportionate amount of black people that didn't swim? Um, when we met really, like, um, I mean like, be fair with you, maybe I didn't pay attention, but because I recognized your face when you contacted mm -hmm. me, um, maybe I've seen you on the, I think it was BBC, something, I don't know, but I, honestly, I didn't pay attention, so I didn't know, I was not aware. So mm. just when I met you and then you start talking about and then, uh, you know, you showed me stuff. So I was like, I, you know, I never heard before about it. Because you actually challenged me, didn't you? You, 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 you? you actually challenged me and said, what are you talking about? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, I was yeah. like, what are you talking about? Actually, in a way, I was like, mm, really? Uh, and, 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 and that's, what's, so basically when you were growing up, what was the... Uh, the demographic of where you lived were there a lot of black people a lot of black oh, Asian people no, around you no no we were like as family of black like mix yeah. mix more than proper black okay. uh when i was a child where i come from we were like maybe two three families okay uh, and then and then with time um we had more immigration of mm -hmm. you know proper black family not mix so, so now the, now so, there are a lot there yeah, are a lot yeah, yeah. All right, so so you obviously you were not exposed to seeing a lot of black people. And no, no, yeah. okay. no, not at all. All right, so okay, and obviously you you, you didn't notice that you noticed it until until we first met. So yeah, so and that was only about maybe about a couple of months ago, wasn't it? A couple of months ago, yeah. yeah. So okay, all right. So yeah, and and I'm I'm sure you've told or your some of your friends back home or your sister, oh, yeah, your your sisters. You know, you've told your sisters about the film and everything and what was their reaction they were like what <laughs> seriously they were yeah. like what and i'm like oh so what's the problem with black can't swim mm. like like me they were mm. like what what is that mm. um because maybe because we grew up you yeah. know the way we grew up and and we grew up and we, d we really don't know like mm. Uh, actually, now they can't, you know, they, they're like, okay, we're going to watch the stuff, but still, the, the, the movies, and but still, they don't take it very seriously, yeah, like, yeah. they're like, okay, yeah, yeah. so, they, <clears throat> they don't, so, for, for, for the, for the peps of the audience, 95% of black adults and 80% of black children in England do not swim, we don't know whether they can or they cannot, but we know that, you know, ninety-five percent of black adults and eighty percent of black children in England do not swim. Um, a lot of people tell me that oh, back in Jamaica, everybody swims. If you go to the beach, everyone is swimming. Back in Ghana, that's where I'm from, um, everybody swims. If you go to the beach, everyone's swimming. I grew up in Ghana, and and I know a lot of people. So and I, and I know a lot of people, Ghanaians, both when I was in Ghana and here. And I think what people don't seem to realize is that if you go by the, to the beaches, if you go to the coast, people do swim. But when you go inland, where probably the majority of the people uh, you know, live, it's a different story altogether. Um, I grew up inland, and when I wanted to go to a, um, a, a, somebody in my class was having a party, and they were having a pool party, and I asked my parents, I think it was about, nine, about 10 or 11 at the time, if I, I told my husband, my, my dad told I want to go to the party, I, so I want to learn how to swim. And I was told that, why do you want to learn how to swim? It's not important. We don't have a pool in our house. We don't live by the sea. You can do that any time in life. So, you know, it was not a priority. And that's one thing that keeps on coming up in conversation when I speak to people. It's not a priority. We won't do it. We won't learn. You know? So that's what we're trying to change. 
now the Black Student Association and everything that I co-founded. Um, we're trying to change that narrative and get people to swim as a priority. You know. Yeah, and also for safety. In the yeah, African yeah. country, I think it's not close. You can't just jump in the water and think, you know, you can swim. Africa has the highest drowning rates. Yeah, it's, I mean, like, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. home, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, you know, one of my sister, mm -hmm. and that, that, that was, she was laughing because she, she went to the swimming pool, she wanted to learn, and then after a month, <laughs> Sorry, after a month, the you know the guy that was teaching her, he told her, "I think you need to go to do like um, therapy, like psychologist." Why is that? <laughs> because my sister also in the little swimming pool, like with the kids. Mm -hmm. After a month, she was still crying. I'm scared. Of I'm the scared. water. Yeah. So he said, "I think you need like." Uh, you need to see somebody first before. <laughs> <laughs> so if, she if, and she didn't do your, anything if, anymore. If, if your sister's anything like you, then I can understand. Seriously. <laughs> no, <laughs> and then, then, no, that was bad. Actually, she was laughing and crying at the same time because she was like, you know, he, the teacher just uh, gave up on me, mm. like. Mm. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, maybe mm. she needs to, you know, to do. So, <laughs> so four sisters do not swim, two do swim. Yeah. And, those, and those two that do swim, do they swim regularly or they just know how to swim? Um, not regularly, like no. just when they go to the sea and stuff. Yeah. But because, they, you know, they were more engaging with my father. So mm, yeah. my father was a crazy as well. He would splash them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no safety at all. Oh, yeah. Uh, because maybe he learned in this way, way yeah. so I thought that's the way it is. But in Italy, a lot of people do like that. Just throw the baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw the baby into the into the uh, into the pool. No, you are four, five years. You need to learn, so you go to the sea. This uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what they do. Mm. And so some some you know some kids can react like they learn pretty yeah. much, like maybe not in a proper way, but it's still. And some. They just got scared, mm. they were more scared, and I don't want to do this anymore. 